जय गुरु जी जय संगत आप सबको आप सबको बहुत बहुत नमस्कार थैंक यू फॉर गिविंग मी द अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर डूइंग गुरु जी की सेवा आप लोग मैं ये भी शुरू में कहना चाहता हूं कि आप लोग बहुत ही अच्छा काम कर रहे हैं बड़े मंदिर पे वेरी वेल मैनेज्ड कीप अप द फैंटास्टिक ही गुड वर्क गुरु जी इज ब्लेसिंग विद यू ऑल द टाइम पहली बार हम लोग के गुरु जी के दर्शन हुए ईयर 1998, नाइनटी दिसंबर 28, ईयर 1998, और उस समय हमारी जो दूसरी बेटी थी उसका बहुत सीरियस एस्थमा का प्रॉब्लम था दैट वाज द बिगेस्ट चैलेंज इन आर लाइफ एट दैट टाइम शी वाज अबाउट टू गो टू कॉलेज इन अ फ्यू इयर्स एट दैट टाइम वी वर इन सिंगापुर बट सिंस वी वर लिविंग इन यूएस आई वॉज एन एक्सपैड असाइनमेंट शी वॉज टू गो बैक टू यूएस फॉर यूनिवर्सिटी सो प्रॉब्लम ये थी कि उसका जो एस्थमा इतना सीरियस होता था और उसका सीरियस अटैक्स होते थे दे वे ऑलवेज लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग समस्या यह थी कि अब शी गोज बैक टू यूनिवर्सिटी इन यूएस वो लुक आफ्टर हर वो टेक हर टू द हॉस्पिटल वो एंटिसिपेट द अटैक्स यू नो एज देर कमिंग टेक एक्शन इन टाइम सो काफी परेशान रहते थे उसी समय हम लोग इंडिया वेकेशन गए हुए थे और वहां पे ऑल्सो इन द सिटी ऑफ माइसूर इन कर्नाटक शी एड अ वेरी सीवियर अटैक तो वी वर क्वाइट कंसर्न वेरी वरी एट दैट टाइम उसके बाद हम लोग दिल्ली आए टू रिटर्न टू सिंगापुर दिल्ली में चाचा जी से मिले मिस्टर प्रकाश सिंह एंड ही एड नोट गुरु जी फॉर अ वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम उन्होंने वैसे मुझे कभी गुरु जी के बारे में बताया नहीं था और उन्होंने बस वेरी क्रिप्टिकली ही सेट दैट अगर श्रद्धा हो तो गुरु जी के पास ले चलूंगा गुरु जी की कृपा होगी तो नीतू ठीक हो जाएगी नीतू इज अ नेम ऑफ द डॉटर तो मुझे तो नहीं समझ में आया क्या कह रहे थे मैंने कहा बिल्कुल चलूंगा और आई हर्ड वॉज कि नीतू ठीक हो जाएगी तो उन्होंने कहा ठीक है कम इन द आफ्टरनून विल गो टूगेदर तो उस दिन आफ्टरनून में वी वेंट टू हिस्स प्लेस माई सेल्फ वाइफ उषा एंड डॉटर नीतू and we went to guruji sangat in empire state at that time and maine kabhi pure raste mein pucha bhi nahi kabhi bhi pucha nahi guruji ke bare mein chacha ji se chacha ji ne kuch bataya bhi nahi but so i had some expectations ki there must be an old man old gentleman sitting there apna unke safed baal honge shayad gherua vastra hoga ya safed vastra hoga wahan par you know so i created my own image of guru ji so when <laughs> when we entered the hall in empire state i was it was totally what i saw was totally unexpected a very dashing young guru ji sitting there in very colorful clothes and a very loud music to me at that time it sounded loud you know playing so we i followed chacha ji he touched guru ji's feet i also touched immediately touched guru ji's feet after him and guru ji addressed me by my name uh, ashok ashok is you know how they call me at home so not many people know that name maine socha ki shayad chacha ji ne bata diya hoga guru ji ko so that's why guru ji is addressing me by that name and baad mein pata chala aisa kuch nahi tha of course you know hum log guru ji ke paas jaate the unhi ki kripa ke karan jab wo उनका आशीर्वाद आशीर्वाद होता था तभी उन तक पहुंच पाते थे और उसके बाद जब गुरु जी के पैर छुए तो उषा ने बताना शुरू कर दिया बेटी के बारे में तो गुरु जी ने बड़े प्यार से सुना थोड़ी देर फिर कर फिर गुरु जी कहते हैं हाँ मुझे सब मालूम बैठ जाओ तो इट वॉज अ वेरी क्राउडेड प्लेस सो जहां जहां जगह मिली बैठ गए चाचा जी कहीं और बैठे थे मैं कहीं और बैठा था उषा एंड नीतू आर सिटिंग समवेर एल्स After some time, Guruji waved at us and asked us to come. So Usha and I and Nitu we went to Guruji. Guruji ne bas Nitu ko dekha. Right hand he raised. Dahe haan utha ke unhone bas bola kalyan ki tar. Aur kab aaj ja? So we just went back and sat in the same place we were. Us samay routine ye hoti thi ki langar nahi hota tha. Parantu Guruji prasad baatte the. अक्सर हलवा या लड्डू जो भी रहता था तो उसके लिए 
ब्रेक रहता था उस समय सब लोग लाइन में खड़े होते थे प्रसाद लेते थे उसके बाद प्रसाद खा के बाहर जाके हाथ धोते थे फिर वापस आते थे तो उस समय ड्यूरिंग दैट ब्रेक टाइम वी कुड मिंगल अगेन और आई वॉज आई वॉज एबल टू टॉक टू चाचा जी चाचा जी ने पूछा कि गुरु जी क्या कह रहे थे बिकॉज ही कुड नॉट लिसन फ्रॉम वेर ही वॉज बट ही सॉ दैट गुरु जी वॉज सेंग सम तो मैंने कहा गुरु जी ने कहा कल्याण कितना चाचा जी वॉज सो हैप्पी इसे नीति इज क्योर्ड मैंने कहा रियली आई कून बिलीव इट चाचा जी ने कहा वो अब उसकी तब बिल्कुल नाम शी इज क्योर्ड फॉर एवर मैंने कहा अच्छा तो एनी वे टू मेक इट शॉर्ट दैट्स एग्जैक्टली वॉट हैपन गुरु जी ने बस अपना दाए हाथ उठाया बोला कल्याण कितना प्रॉब्लम बहुत सीरियस प्रॉब्लम इन आवर लाइफ एट दैट टाइम वो जी इमीडिएटली रिजोल्व डन फिनिश्ड She never had any attack of asthma after that ever. So, उसके बाद जब बेटी ठीक हो गई, तो I should also narrate something else that happened very beautifully at that time. 28 दिसंबर की बात मैं बता रहा था आपको. उसके बाद हम लोग गुरुजी के पास गए 29 दिसंबर को और 30 दिसंबर को भी. और जैसा मैंने आपको बताया, it used to be very crowded place. और जगह एक साथ बैठने को नहीं मिलती थी. अलग-अलग जहाँ भी जगह मिलती थी हम लोग बैठ जाते थे तो ऑन ट्वेंटी एट दिसंबर इन ऑफकोर्स यू नो वन ऑफ द थिंग दैट वॉज गोइंग थ्रू माई माइंड इज एट दैट टाइम वॉज यू नो टू इज गुरु जी मुझे कुछ मालूम तो था नहीं और आई वॉज क्वाइट सरप्राइज टू सी ए वेरी यंग गुरु जी इन वेरी कलरफुल फ्लोर्स सिटिंग वेयर तो इस बहुत से क्वेश्चन थे तो सडनली आई सी आई फाइंड दैट यू नो जेंटलमैन केम एंड साइड नेक्स्ट टू मी एंड ही स्टार्टेड टॉकिंग और उन्होंने हिंदी में बात करनी शुरू करी जो बहुत अच्छा लगा चूंकि आई एम बेसिकली हमारी मदर टंग हिंदी है तो वहां पे सब पंजाबी एनवायरनमेंट था तो मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगा कि कोई हिंदी में बात करने वाला मिल गया तो बिगनिंग टू गेट बैक इनटू कंफर्ट जोन फिर उन्होंने बताया मेरा नाम मेजर ज्ञान सिंह है मैं अजमेर का रहने वाला हूँ गुरु जी को बहुत सालों से जानता हूँ आई थिंक इस सेवेंटीन ईयर्स और उन्होंने कहा कि जहाँ भी गुरु जी रहते हैं मेरी पोस्टिंग वही करवा देते हैं चूंकि उससे मैं सत्संग में आ सकता हूँ मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लगा था यू नो वी आर ऑल्सो राजपूत तो सडनली राजपूत इज सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू मी एंड टॉकिंग टू मी एन हिंदी एनी ऑफ माई इन आर्मी मेंबर माई फैमिली मेंबर आर इन द आर्मी जेंटल बैन फॉर द आर्मी तो बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा था यू नो सडनली देर ऑफ समी आई कुड रिलेट टू देर वॉज अ किनशिप देयर सडनली आई वॉज बैक इन कम्फर्ट जो उसके बाद उन्होंने मुझसे कहा कि आपको गुरु जी के बारे में कुछ मालूम है मैंने कहा नहीं मुझे तो कुछ नहीं मालूम उन्होंने कहा ठीक है मैं आपको बताता हूँ and then he started talking about guruji and you know he didn't say anything he didn't tell me anything that you know you already would not know or i did not know at that time but very you know things that we already know and he was basically describing god ye you know, keh rahe aisi cheeze bana rahe the ki aapko ye aapko kuch guruji se batane ki avashyakta nahi hai guruji ko sab kuch malum hai aap aap bilkul pareshan nahi hoiye jis jiske baat pareshani ke liye aaye wo sab theek ho jayengi और ये भी आप नहीं परेशान हुई है कि आप गुरु जी को बता नहीं पाए हैं या उनको समझा नहीं पाए हैं उनको सब कुछ मालूम है और ये भी आप बिल्कुल नहीं सोचिए कि आप कहा बैठे हैं गुरु जी के पास हैं कि गुरु जी के दूर हैं सब लोग बराबर हैं गुरु जी के लिए नहीं के थिंग्स लाइक दैट और मुझे बड़ा अच्छा लग रहा था आई डोंट नो आई कॉन्ट एक्सप्लेन वाई आई फील लाइक इट वॉज द मोस्ट ब्यूटिफुल म्यूजिक इन द वर्ल्ड आई वॉज लिस अच्छा उसके बाद ऐसा हुआ कि बीच में जैसा मैंने आपको बताया हम लोग उठे गुरु जी ने बुलाया फिर बैठे वापस जाके तो उस समय फिर जगह मिल गई उनके बगल में जहां पे मेजर ज्ञान सिंह बैठे थे और मैं पहले बैठा था फिर हम लोग प्रसाद लेने के लिए उठे फिर बाहर बाहर से हाथ वाथ धो के आए फिर बैठे फिर सडनली अगेन आई एम सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू मेजर ज्ञान सिंह और वी सिटिंग नेक्स्ट टू मी बात बताते रहे और मतलब इट वॉज सच ए ब्यूटिफुल एक्सपीरियंस सेटिंग देर लिसनिंग टू हिम एंड ही वॉज नॉट सेंग एनी थिंग दैट वॉज एक्स्ट्राऑर्डिनरी और वेरी स्पेशल पर इतना अच्छा लग रहा था कि मैं आपको डिस्क्राइब नहीं कर सकता खैर वो बताते हैं इस तरह से चलता रहा ऑल ऑफ ट्वेंटी एट दिसंबर ऐसा ट्वेंटी नाइन दिसंबर एंड थर्टी एट दिसंबर द सेम थिंग रिपीटेड एग्जैक्टली सेम वे अब आपको मैं एक्सप्लेन नहीं कर पाऊंगा कैसे हुआ ये इट वॉज यूज टू बी वेरी क्राउडेड प्लेस और साठ लोग जाते थे तो भी एक साथ नहीं बैठ पाते थे बट ऑन ऑल दो थ्री डेज मेजर ज्ञान सिंह सेट नेक्स्ट टू मी एंड बीच में प्रसाद के लिए भी उठते थे वापस आके बैठते थे फिर प्रसाद बैठ जाते थे 
So it, it was just like absolutely the, of course it was Guruji's will, you know, he was arranging all that. But it was so good, I can't describe it to you. He told me about Guruji. And this was all something very ordinary that you already know, that I already know, I knew at that time, about, he was basically describing God. So it was very good. उसके बाद एक्चुअली 30 दिसंबर को उन्होंने मुझसे यह भी कहा कि आप कल भी आइए गुरुजी के साथ हम लोग न्यू ईयर्स मनाएंगे तो सर यू नो आई हैड सम अदर अरेंजमेंट्स सो आई कुड नॉट कम एंड दैट दैट्स अ आई रियली रिग्रेट दैट आई विश आई हैड गॉन बैक और उसके बाद मैंने सोचा कि मेजर ज्ञान सिंह अक्सर देखने को मिलेंगे मैं सिंगापुर में था तो जब भी मौका मिलता था मैं आ जाता था गुरुजी के दर्शन के लिए कि मैं पास ही था इंडिया वाज पार्ट ऑफ माय Responsibility. I was managing director for my company for Asia Pacific. So every every other month or so I used to come. So one two years will be gone. I thought that Major Gyan Singh is also coming. Major Gyan Singh is saying that he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying with us. Because wherever Guruji is, he is staying मेजर आप किसी मेजर ज्ञान सिंह को जानते हैं जो मुझे दिखे नहीं है पहली बार आया था मैं तो मुझे मिला था उनसे उन्होंने कहा था कि यहाँ पे आते रहते हैं हमेशा नो बडी न्यू एंड आई थिंक अबाउट मेजर ज्ञान सिंह सो यू नो यू कैन कंक्लूड एंड आई कंक्लूड इट देर इज नो मेजर ज्ञान सिंह यू नो आई हैड डीप डिजायर एड सिंसियर इंटरेस्ट टू लर्न अबाउट गुरु जी एंड गुरु जी अरेज सो द लेसन फॉर मी and they took me some time to realize it and the, the lesson i want to share with you is if you have a desire to learn anything about guruji wo aap sab samajh mein aa jayegi guruji will arrange it some way or other so aap usme bilkul pareshan nahi hoge then uh, then some other beautiful incidents happened actually the ne next visit mein, when i went there mai maine socha ki mai chaja ji ko pareshan nahi karunga I used to stay at the Imperial Hotel on Jalpat. I said, I will go to the taxi and get to meet Guruji. So, Chacha Ji gave me a number. There was a number there. I had an idea that Delhi is going to go to the road. It was a big deal. There was a left side of the Empire State. And I had put some landmarks in my head. I said, I will go to the taxi driver. I gave the taxi driver instructions. And I gave the instructions. I gave the instructions. I gave the instructions. मैंने सोचा ये बड़े चौराहे से रोड जा रही है मेहरौली से रोड जा रही है गुड़गावा की रोड तो मैंने उसको बता दिया मेहरौली गुड़गावा रोड पे ले चलो तो ही टुक मी ऑन मेहरौली गुड़गावा रोड बट दैट रोड वाज वेरी डिफरेंट इट वाज अ नैरोअर रोड देन व्हाट यू नो आई हैड गॉन ऑन बिफोर मुझे कुछ लैंडमार्क्स भी नहीं दिखे एंड इट वॉज अ डेफिनेटली डिफरेंट रोड इट वॉज अ मोर वाइंडिंग और हवेली टाइप उसमें बिल्डिंग्स भी थी तो मैंने सोचा कि आई एम प्रॉब्लम लॉस्ट बड़ी अच्छी तरह क्लियरली इंस्ट्रक्शन दिए मैंने ड्राइवर को भी फोन दे दिया ड्राइवर ने भी इंस्ट्रक्शन सुने एंड टू एम्पायर स्टेट विदाउट एनी प्रॉब्लम इंस्ट्रक्शन एक्सेलेंट तो उसके बाद संगत में बैठा जब संगत खत्म हुई जब जाने का समय आया तो मैंने सोचा कि आई शुड एटलीस्ट अप्रिशिएट यू नो द हेल्प फ्रॉम द जेंटलमैन यू नो हू टेक द फोन इन्होंने इतनी अच्छी तरह इंस्ट्रक्शन दिए डायरेक्शन दिए तो मैंने सेवादार जो वहां पर थे उनसे पूछा मैंने कहा मैंने एक फोन किया था तो किसी ने मुझे बहुत अच्छी तरह इंस्ट्रक्शन दिए डायरेक्शन दिए तो आई वॉन्ट टू थैंक हिम आई वॉन्ट टू आई वॉन्ट टू नो हुई मे है उन्होंने उनको बड़ा आश्चर्य हुआ उन्होंने कहा हमारे यहाँ तो कोई फोन नहीं उठाते हैं हमारे गुरुजी के इंस्ट्रक्शन हैं कि वन द संगत स्टार्ट्स फोन आर नॉट टू बी पिक्ड अप तो मुझे बड़ा आश्चर्य हुआ फोन वॉज पिक्ड अप तो मुझे मैंने कहा ठीक है मैं आर आज कैन अदर जेंटलमैन तो मैंने दूसरे सेवादार थे उनसे भी पूछा आई गॉट द एग्जैक्टली सेम आंसर सो अगेन द लेसन फॉर मी दैट आई वॉन्ट शेयर विद यू इज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रीच गुरु जी मैन इन दैट यू नो एट दैट Time it was physically reaching Guruji, but anyway, you, you want to reach Guruji, you know, physically, spiritually, whatever. You don't have to worry about it. Then you will get there. Guruji will make sure you reach it if you have a sincere desire to reach. It. Then there were some some other beautiful experiences that happened. Exactly a year later, 
दिसंबर ऑफ 1999 हम लोग उस बार फैमिली नहीं थी मैं था अकेला इंडिया के विजिट पर और मेरे चाचा जी भी साथ थे सिटिंग टुगेदर गुरु जी ने काफी देर तक बैठाए रखा अराउंड आई थिंक मिड नाइट ऑनली अबाउट टेन और ट्वेल्व आवर्स वेर लेफ्ट गुरु जी ने कहा चलो बड़े मंदिर अब चलते उस समय मुझे ये भी नहीं मालूम था कि बड़े मंदिर भी बड़े मंदिर भी वहां था ये चाचा जी ने कहा मुझे कि चलो यू नो यू हैव योर ओन कार एंड आई हैव माय कार सो व्हाई डोंट वी जस्ट गो इन वन कार सो वी डोंट हैव टेक बोथ द कार्स तो मेरे साथ चलना मैंने कहा ठीक तो आई वॉट आर राइट विद हिम और रास्ते भर मेरे चाचा जी बहुत नाराज थे एंड द रीजन वॉज माईज रिटायर्ड एट दैट टाइम बट ही रिटायर्ड फ्रॉम वेरी डिस्टिंग सर्विस इन पुलिस He was director general police for two states, uh, UP and Assam, and also DG for uh, BSS. So, वो बहुत नाराज इसलिए थे कि a particular very notorious IAS officer had come to Sangat at that time, and uh, the way he described that every time there is an inquiry going again, this particular officer from CBI, she comes. वो गुरु जी के पास बैठेगी गुरु जी के पैर वैर दबाएगी गुरु जी का आशीर्वाद लेगी और उसकी सब फाइल्स वगैरह बंद हो जाती है कुछ होता ही नहीं है उसका तो ही वॉज एक्चुअली एंग्री बिकॉज ही वॉज सैंग गुरु जी की ब्लेसिंग ऑल दीज रॉन्ग पीपल और ये गलत लोग हैं इनको तो ब्लेसिंग बिल्कुल नहीं मिलनी चाहिए दे शुड बी बिहाइंड बार्स दे शुड बी अवे फ्रॉम द सोसाइटी वो बहुत नाराज थे रास्ते भर वो यही बात करते जा रहे हैं रीच बड़े मंदिर इट वॉज अराउंड यू नो पैस मिड नाइट एक्चुअली हम लोग बाहर खड़े थे इट वॉज नाइट डार्क नाइट उस समय बड़े मंदिर वॉज नॉट यूज टू बी नॉट सो वेल लेट गुरु जी कार बाद में आई हम लोग बी वे जस्ट वेटिंग फॉर हिम इन गुरु जी पास जस्ट बाई ऑफकोर्स गुरु जी की जब गुरु जी आते थे तो इतनी अच्छा लगता था उनकी सुगंध चारों ओर फैली रहती गुरु जी वॉज नियर बाई गुरु जी ने वही पैस जस्ट बाई प्रॉब्लम वॉक डाउनली फाइव टेन मीटर्स देन स्टॉप एब्रॉपली and he turned abruptly and he looked at my uncle my chacha ji and said very clearly very sternly and i'll share his these were his exact words he said mahapurushon ki kripa har par barabar that's all he said and then turned around and went inside the bade mandir and of course we followed and we went after that so but you know that was those were his exact words महापुरुषों की कृपा हर पर बराबर अगेन द लेसन दर आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विद यू वी आर ऑल इक्वल इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरु जी यू नो फॉर हिम देर इज नो डिफरेंस लेस इज ऑल द सेम वी आर ऑल हिज चिल्ड्रन सो नेवर एवर थिंक नेवर एवर फील दैट यू आर लेस ब्लेस्ड और यू आर मोर ब्लेस्ड और दट समबडी इज नियर गुरु जी हमने काफी सुना है कि वो गुरु ऐसे लोग बोलते हैं कि वो गुरु जी के काफी पास हैं और गुरु जी काफी अच्छी तरह जानते हैं देर इज नथिंग लाइक दैट डोंट बी अंडर दैट यू नो इंप्रेशन कि समबडी नो गुरु जी मोर और समबडी इज मोर लव बाई गुरु जी और समबडी इज मोर ब्लेस बाई गुरु जी दैट एब्सोल्यूटली नॉट ट्रू गुरु जी ब्लेस एस ऑल इक्वली वी आर ऑल लव द सेम बाई हिम <laughs> then i want to share another beautiful experience i had this was a few years later it must have been around 2000 maybe 2001 2002 i didn't make a note of the date but uh, my my routine used to be that you know us samay guru ji ne shuru shuru mein to guru ji ke sangat roz hoti thi but uh, by that time you know he had changed his routine and sangat hoti thi thursday ko thursday friday saturday sunday four days in a week guru ji ne roz sangat band kar di thi एनी वे माई रूटीन एट दैट टाइम यूज टू बी जब मैं इंडिया जाता था थर्सडे को मैं चला जाता था सिंगापुर एयरलाइंस की फ्लाइट लेके यूज टू रीच इंडिया अराउंड आई एम नॉट आई थिंक अराउंड सम नाइन समथिंग नाइन थर्टी और समथिंग मैं सीधे गुरु जी की संगत में चला जाता था एयरपोर्ट से फिर फ्राइडे सैटरडे को पूरी संगत पूरी अच्छी तरह अटेंड कर रहा था संगत संडे को जाता था संगत में देन सिंगापुर एयरलाइंस यूज टू रिटर्न अराउंड अलेवन फिफ्टीन पी एम आई थी अबाउट साढ़े आठ नौ बजे मैं उठ के साढ़े आठ पौने नौ बजे उठ के मैं चल, चला जाता था वापस एयरपोर्ट कैच माई फ्लाइट ऑन संडे सो ऑन दैट पर्टिकुलर विजिट मैं संडे को एज आई वेंट टू गुरु जी संगत समहाउ द थॉट केम टू माई हेड 
एंड आई थिंक इट्स ऑल बिकॉज ऑफ गुरु जी बट द थॉट केम कि मैं गुरु जी के पास जा रहा हूं आई एम गोइंग टू गुरुद्वारा सो आई यू नो आई शुड नॉट जस्ट गेट अप एंड लीव आई शुड गो ओनली वेन माई गुरु वॉन्ट्स मी टू गो अदरवाइज आई जस्ट यू नो अदरवाइज आई शुड नॉट गो सो विद डेट थॉट आई वेन देयर और उस 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 दिन मेरे चाचा जी भी साथ थे उषा वॉज देयर एंड मेनी अदर फैमिली मेंबर्स वेर so any event the clock was ticking and as as things started getting a little late now i was still sitting not getting up my chacha ji was getting a little concerned about me so he told me that your flight miss ho jayegi you should go so first you know i i did not do that but he said to to me two or three times then i decided that i should not ignore him he's a family elder so i got up went to a guru ji to touch his feet and i had not told guru ji कि मैं वापस जा रहा हूं सिंगापुर से बट गुरु जी जस्ट स्माइल लुक एट मी वेरी लाइनली एंड से बैठ जा तेरी फ्लाइट कैंसिल करा दी मैं बाकी बैठ गया वापस मैंने कहा चाचा जी से गुरु जी ने कहा फ्लाइट मेरी कैंसिल नॉट ही वॉज ऑल्सो एट पीस यू नो ऑल्सो थॉट फ्लाइट विल बी नाउ कैंसिल सो दर इज नो हरी बट दैट वॉज नॉट द केस टू बी काफी देर हो गई देन गुरु जी वेव द गेम and they asked me to come and when i came and to him you know he said acha ja airport so i touched his feet and he of course he left my uncle also came outside with me you know and the wife usha and other people also came who were with me at that time and my chacha ji even told me ki to tum bahut late ho gaye ho there is no way you'll make a flight and uh, just you know why don't you come back from the airport and we'll go home directly i will go home together make a tea so I approached the airport. This was the old airport. There used to be four gates to enter the airport, and uh, I think it was just maybe I was just maybe half an hour before the flight departure time or something like that when I reached. Or here, the whole airport was totally crowded, like it used to be always all the time, and very chaotic environment, like all the time. But what I what <laughs> I was in a shock when I looked at what. The gate, you know, when I looked at the gates, because the airport was quite small, you had to at least three gates to see each other. I saw that there was such a crowd on the other side, but there was nobody at any of the gates. So anyway, I used to enter through gate number three, I think, at that time. So I just entered basically. There was no, there was no waiting or no line, nothing. I saw that there was such a small airport at that time. There was a sign in Singapore Airlines counter. I saw that there was no sign in the counter. So I was a little surprised. So I asked the constable, you know, who used to, you know, check their, you know, passports. And I said, "Pucha, yeah, Singapore Airlines counter hota hai. Ab dekhi raha hai, ka signage." Usne kaha, "Aapko bahut deer ho gayi hai. Unhone sign hata diya. Ab boarding pass nahi de rahe hain. But aap jaiye, dekhi, shayad aapko de de." So anyway, I went toward the counter, and a gentleman came from behind. There was there was a cabin, and he asked me if I was behind the sign, and I said yes, and he handed me my boarding pass. so that was not very surprising because yeah. maine socha ki ho sakta hai ki i i may be the only person left in first and business class because wo log preprint karte the boarding pass singapore airlines they used to preprint all the passenger who were in the you know first class and business class so and ek ek bacha hua hai ki boarding pass so he obviously recognized me and gave it to me theek hai uske baad next next you know we have to go through embarkation you know points you know through immigration मैंने इम्बार्केशन कार्ड वगैरह फिल किया तो आई वेंट टू अड इमिग्रेशन एंड एयरपोर्ट वॉज कम्प्लीटली चॉक फुल ऑफ पीपल देर पीपल एवरीवेयर इट वॉज नॉइजी केटिक एनवायरमेंट लाइक ऑल द टाइम बट वो जो पांच छह सात जितनी लाइन्स थी इमिग्रेशन की देर वॉज नॉट अ सिंगल पर्सन इन एनी ऑफ दो लाइन्स आई कुंट बिलीव माई आईस इट वॉज जस्ट द सेम काइंड ऑफ सीन दैट आई हैव आई सॉ आउट साइड गेट्स यू नो टू एंटरिंग फॉर एंटरिंग द एयरपोर्ट So anyway, I just walked through the immigration, and as I approached the inside hall, a very big hall was there. There were two big gates, or doors, actually, for security checks. They were very tall doors, very, and very long line usually was there. Sometimes it would take half an hour, even longer, you know, just to go through the security. But again, it's exactly the same thing. The airport is full of people. There are people everywhere, but not a single person. The airport is full of people. There are people everywhere. But not a single person in in those security gate doors. Again, I walked through it. Basically, I was just walking through the airport. It probably didn't take me more than ten, twelve minutes to reach the boarding gate. 
I was the last person to board the you know plane. They closed the door right you know within few minutes, two, three, four minutes after I was in my seat. I took off, and when I next day, I called Usha from uh, she was still in India. I told her that you know I had such a wonderful experience. When I described what happened, when I said thank Guruji, you now because it was definitely arranged by him. So anyway, Usha called me a few days later. And then she said, you know, Thursday को जब वो गई थी अपना संगत में तो मैंने फ्राइडे शी कॉल्ड मी एंड शी सेड मैं मुझे बताने का मौका ही नहीं दिया गुरुजी ने मैंने उनका पैर जो ही छुआ गुरुजी खुद ही हंसने लगे और कहते हैं कि पता अंकल की फ्लाइट बोर्डिंग कैसे गई तो यू नो जस्ट आल्सो मेड श्योर दैट इन केस देर एनी डाउट यू नो हाउ इट है and at that time i didn't realize the importance of what had happened or significance of it much later i realized that what i had done at that time i had surrendered without realizing that i was surrendering because i had decided that i am not going to get up till guru ji wants me to get up and leave so basically i have left myself at his will you know i had truly surrendered without realizing that i was surrendering so once i surrendered and i left myself at his will you know i was his responsibility and this is what happened so guru ji kabhi kehte the na mango mat mano what he was doing saying basically surrender to me just leave things to me and i had done that <laughs> unknowingly and this was the beautiful result so again i would like to emphasize the lesson i learned for your benefit जो गुरु जी कहते हैं ना मांगो मत मानो जस्ट प्लीज फॉलो दैट वर्मेटिंग आप कभी गुरु जी से कुछ नहीं मांगी गिव एवरीथिंग टू हिम यू विल नॉट ओनली गेट व्हाट इज गुड फॉर यू व्हिच मे नॉट बी नेसेसरी व्हाट यू वांट बट व्हाट वुड बी गुड एंड दैट विल बी द बेस्ट फॉर यू सो लीव एवरीथिंग टू हिम आई लाइक टू शेयर वन मोर एक्सपीरियंस दिस इज During a time, I think must have been around 2002. Guru Ji actually, kabi kabi toh bahut naraj ho raha hai. Kuch aate the Delhi walon se. Kya the Delhi wale bilkul materialistic hain. Bilkul bekaar ke log hain. Kewal mangne aate hain. Selfish log hain. Inko kuch they are not good. You know, he would say that you know kind of sarcastically in a way, you know, half jokingly. But that's what he would say. Kya the Punjab ke log bahut achhe. At that time, Guru Ji had gone to. Punjab to Jalandhar, and with strict instructions that nobody from Delhi Sangat is to come to Jalandhar. Naraj ho gaya the. So at that time, you know, I made a program. It was December. It was actually tail end of December. I made a program. I made that we will go to Sri Lanka for a little vacation, and then we will go and visit Jalandhar for Guru Ji's darshan. I of course, you know, made sure in advance. I talked to some people, made sure that you know we had permission to come to Jalandhar because I didn't know whether Guruji would uh, treat us as you know Delhi Sangat or not. So anyway, Guruji said, "Yeah, we can go. We can be allowed to come." So I made a program, but I made a program. But I made a little mistake. I mean, the way I made my program is we were to reach Delhi on 30th morning. Sorry, 30th late night, early morning. whatever the flight time was by sri lanka airways and then early morning on 30th we will we had to arrange a taxi to take us to jalandhar and guru ji ke darshan karte 30th evening at the mandir there and then 31st i had arranged the same taxi to bring us back to delhi and to take that uh, night night flight by singapore airlines to return to singapore we would be back in singapore on 1st january और बच्चों की फ्लाइट टू रिटर्न टू यूएस वॉज ऑन सेकेंड जनवरी तो एज आई वॉज बोर्डिंग द फ्लाइट फ्रॉम कोलम्बो श्रीलंका टू दिल्ली थॉट अगर टू मी की यार ये तो भाई थर्टीएथ दिसंबर है थर्टीएथ दिसंबर मीन्स यू नो दिल्ली देर कुड बी वेरी बैड फॉग इन दिल्ली आई डिड नॉट थिंक अबाउट इट बिफोर मैंने कहा अगर दिल्ली में फॉग होता होगा तो कैन विल बी एबल टू लैंड मैंने कहा द मिस्टेक आई मेड इज आई डेंट पुट एनी क्वेश्चन इन माई प्लानिंग So everything has to be happen exactly as planned. Otherwise, you know, we don't know whether we'll be able to go to Jalandhar. So anyway, my fears proved correct, 
as we were as the flight was uh, going to uh, descending and trying to land in delhi it could not land it aborted the landing went back up and the you know flight uh, captain you know went on that uh, came on intercom and explained ki bahut fog hai and we you know we could not land but i'll try again so he tried once more again he had to abort the landing this time when he came on intercom he said uh, we are not you know we have been told that we can't land and uh, we are asked to go to ahmedabad my heart sank we ka ahmedabad ab jayenge so how can i arrange to be in jalandhar you know on 30th afternoon evening you know it's too far there's no way i can i may not be able to do that तो काफी दुखी था मैं एंड आई स्टार्टेड प्रेइंग टू गुरुजी कि गुरुजी आप प्लीज कुछ करिए बच्चे भी साथ थे उषा भी साथ थी तो आई एम श्योर देर ऑल प्रेइंग यू नो एट द सेम टाइम देन यू नो विद इन जस्ट अ फ्यू मिनट्स आफ्टर दैट द पायलट अगेन केम ऑन इट काम एंड सेड यू नो वी हैव बीन कॉन्टेक्टेड बाय द कंट्रोल टावर द फॉग सीम्स टू बी लिफ्टिंग एंड वी बीन आस्ट टू कम एंड ट्राई अगेन बहुत खुश हुआ मैं अंडिका हो सकता हो जाए एंड इट डिड है वी डिड लैंड एंड एज सुन एज वी लैंडेड द पायलट अगेन केम ऑन इन टू काम एंड सेड वी वर वेरी लकी फ्लाइट फॉग हैज अगेन डिसेंडेड कम डाउन एंड नाउ दे आर गोइंग टू क्लोज द एयरपोर्ट वी आर द ओनली फ्लाइट दैट कुड लैंड यू नो ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम पीरियड ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम फॉग पीरियड सो बहुत खुशी हुई एनी वे नेक्स्ट डे वी और दर्टियथ इवनिंग वी वेर इन जालंधर वी वेंट टू मंदिर गुरु जी की संगत थी वहां बहुत ज्यादा लोग नहीं थे तो एज सुन एस्ट आई टच गुरु जी स्पीक गुरु जी हंसे और कहते हैं सबको बता तेरी फ्लाइट कैसे लैंड करी जस्ट अगेन टू मेक श्योर दैट यू नो वाई हाउ हाउ यू एड अरेज फॉर दू नो दैट शुड नॉट बी एनी डाउट इन माई माइंड और इन एनी बडीज माइंड That it was not a coincidence that the flight could land. It was all arranged by him. Guru Ji said that. Sometimes, he said that my power is acting, and people think it's a coincidence. So you know, many beautiful things happen in our lives because of Guru Ji. And sometimes, you know, we are we, we don't realize that it's you know he's it's him he's arranging all that, and we don't take the time to thank him or be you know grateful to him. so please you know some many beautiful things will happen in your life because of him think about it take some time to thank him you know to pay respect to him then there was another beautiful experience and uh, this was at bale mandir he took us late at night one day there were only few of us must have been around year 2003 i think और मुझे ये नहीं मालूम था बहुत चीजें गुरु जी के बारे में मुझे मालूम नहीं थी मैं किसी से बात बात नहीं करता था पूछता पूछता नहीं था केवल गुरु जी के दर्शन के लिए जाता था सिंगल यू नो सिंगल माइंडेडली मेरे मन में और कुछ नहीं रहता था बस कोई डिजायर नहीं रहती थी कोई उनसे मांगने की इच्छा नहीं रहती थी बस मैं दर्शन के लिए जाता था और किसी से बात बात नहीं करता था और दर्शन करके आ जाता था सिंगल में तो मुझे ज्यादा कुछ मालूम नहीं रहता था एनी तो गुरु जी उस दिन हम लोग को there were only maybe 15 of us were left you know unhone kaha ki bade mandir chalo that used to happen every once in a while kafi jab der ho jati thi bahut kam hi log bachte the to guru ji guru ji aksar bade mandir le jate the again it was a december night a cold night a dark night hum log bade mandir gaye hum log pehle pahunch gaye the jitne sangat ke log the guru ji dar baad mein aaye so we were just waiting there aur us samay wahan par mandir mandir mein kuch construction work chal raha tha उन्होंने कुछ सीमेंट या कंक्रीट वगैरह पोर कर रखी थी जब यू नो ग्राउंड पर और उसके ऊपर उन्होंने वर्कर्स ने पटरा लगा रखे थे लकड़ी के क्रॉस द एरिया यू नो वेर इट देर वॉज सीमेंट विच वॉज नॉट स्टिल ड्राई नॉट ड्राई एट तो हम लोग बड़े ध्यान से अपने पटरे पे अपना पैर रख के दूसरी तरफ गए सो देन गुरु जी के जस्ट वॉक ओवर दट वेट सीमेंट I couldn't believe it. I said, "Oh my God!" You know, he just walked over it. You know, his his shoes will be a mess. So I was standing next to a gentleman, Mr. Verma. He he was in uh, Ghaziabad. I don't know where Mr. Verma is. Maybe he's still in Ghaziabad. So he he probably saw a puzzled face. So he said, "You don't know him." I said, "What?" 
कहता है गुरुजी के पैर जमीन पर नहीं पड़ते मैंने कहा अच्छा अगेन यू नो आई डोंट नो आई शुड बिलीव दैट बट वेन आई वेंट इन साइड जस्ट फ्यू ऑफ आर सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ गुरु जी सिंहासन गुरु जी वॉज देयर एन एस टिपिकली यू नो ही रेस्ट वन लेग ऑन फोर इट ऑन दुट इट ऑन दर लेग्स नी मैंने उनके पैर में देखा ध्यान से बहुत देखा मैंने उनके जूते जूते दे वर शाइनिंग यू नो द सोल्स आर शाइनिंग लाइक दे वर इवन स्टेप ऑन द ग्राउंड दे वॉज नॉट इवन डस्ट मच लेस्ट यू नो थिंक अबाउट कॉन्क्रीट और सीमेंट और एनीथिंग लाइक दैट so in a guruji's feet never used to be on ground and mujhe yani malum tha that was the first time i learned about that so any of us lo batate rehte the ki guruji ke bare mein ki guruji shiv ji hain aur maine sab cheeze dekhi guruji mein jo bhagwan mein hoti hain maine dekha ki i you know i i saw him many places and i knew that he was in delhi so he wo you know he could be in many places at the same time is you know his fragrance him him his feet not touching ground you know once in a while you know humse unhone bataya ki main jo soch raha tha unhone repeat kar diya mujhe samajh mein aaya ye antar hai abhi bhi hai aur of course he knew about everything i'd seen in control nature you know the way our plane landed in jalandhar i gave an example and many other examples so main sochta rehta tha guru ji hai kaun parantu maine kabhi poocha nahi to kya poochun usse गुरुजी कौन है कि नहीं क्योंकि अक्सर संगत बहुत देर तक चलती रहती थी रात के एक दो बज जाते थे उसके बाद कभी कभी दो तीन भी बज जाते थे उसके बाद मुझे बताया जाता था कि गुरुजी पाठ करते हैं और उसके बाद मैंने सोचा कि गुरु की दिनचर्या होती थी तो आई यूज टू थिंक गुरु जी पता नहीं सोते हैं कि नहीं एक दिन मैं गुरु के पास बैठा था आस कोई नहीं था मैंने कहा आज मैं गुरुजी से पूछ लगता पूछता हूँ गुरु जी सोते हैं कि नहीं मैं वैसे बहुत बहुत हेजिटेट करता था कुछ पूछने का मन नहीं होता था क्योंकि गुरु जी के इंस्ट्रक्शन से गुरु से कुछ नहीं पूछते परंतु उस दिन मैंने पूछ ही लिया मैंने कहा आसपास कोई नहीं है गुरु जी हो सकता है डांट दें पर वुड नॉट बी वेरी एम्बेसिंग बिकॉज नो बडी विल नो अबाउट इट मैंने गुरु जी से पूछा मैंने गुरु जी आप कभी सोते हैं गुरु जी स्माइल एंड देट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली डिवाइन स्माइल आई कॉन्ट डिस्क्राइब दैट and this is guru ji's answer and i'll repeat it exactly in his words he said main sounga to srishti ko kon dekhega if i sleep who will look after creation now in guru ji hamesha punjabi mein bolte hain keval punjabi mein nahi ki wo dubri wali punjabi bolte hain and i found it very difficult to understand but that day he spoke in clear crisp hindi sanskritized hindi i understood it very clearly He revealed himself. He basically told us, told me that I want to share with you who he was. So obviously, you know, then the <laughs> then the question is, you know, that will go through our mind is, you know, what is Lord Shiva doing? Lord Shiva Ji is doing on earth. So for that, you know, I I can explain that to you because I learned that later myself. There, in Shiv, if you read Shiva Puran, there is a there is a incidents where. Shiv ji has a desire to create the universe. So for first he creates Brahma, and he instructs instructs Brahma to create the universe. So Brahma, you know, of course, succeeds in doing that after a lot of trial and error, a lot of uh, time. And when he's able to do that, because it was such a you know huge undertaking, he's so proud that you know he unke char sar ho gaye to uh, in you know to basically look at his own Srishti that he's created. and then he became so enamored and so you know happy so egotistical so arrogant with his creation that he grew a fifth head now jab when shiv ji looked at him he he was you know unka dekhe brahma kyun itna you know why is he so enamored by what he has done why why so proud of what he has done so he looked at the srishti and shiv ji was not very happy he saw nothing but things which were not correct you know he saw hatred violence he saw greed he saw bigotry you know he saw just things that didn't seem right so then he said brahma tumne kya kiya but brahma would not listen because he was just you know <laughs> in his, his own world you know happy with himself with what he had done then shivji became angry with his anger called bhairav 
Yes. He is the creation of his anger. So Shivji instructs Kal Bhairav to snatch away, throw away the fifth head of Brahma. So Kal Bhairav, you know, his date, but you know, he follows instructions. And as, as the fifth head is snatched, Brahma comes back to his senses. Then he realizes the mistakes he has made. Then he says, and then he tells Lord, Lord Shivji, that please, you know, correct my mistakes. So Shivji ne kaha nahi, tumne jo, maine jo kaha tha tumne kiya, I'm not going to interfere with that. But once in a while, I'll go to earth and take care of my bhakts. So, when Sadhguru comes, just assume trust that it is Lord Shiva. Of course, you know, we don't know who Sadhguru is. But our Guruji was definitely Sadhguru. You know, he was Shivji himself, directly there. And when that happens, when we have Sadhguru as our Guru, there is no higher blessing. And Guruji himself, I just found it. Guruji himself used to say what is there in what, what I had read in Shankaracharya's Vivek Chudamadi. Shankaracharya says there are three things possible only with Bhagavad Kripa. These are his words, Bhagavad Kripa. He says, first, a human body. You know, he says human body is possible only with Bhagavad Kripa, only when there is a you know divine you know blessing. The second a spiritual curiosity. So, you know, there are so many people around, but very few have a true, sincere spiritual curiosity or a really a true spiritual desire. And he said, third, the, which is the absolutely the highest blessing, there is no blessing which is higher than that, is having a Sadhguru. Now, just imagine, we have all three. You know, we are all human beings. I'm assuming we all have some spiritual curiosity. And I'm assuming that he's our guru, right? For all, for all of us. He's Sadhguru. Now, I did not know that. I learned that only last week through somebody else that Guruji also said the same thing. You know, in Punjabi, and I can't repeat those words because I didn't hear that, but he said exactly the same thing. And the way it was described to me, this person said, Guruji said that three, is samay teen chije ek saath hai, at samay bilkul best nahi karo. So Guruji had said exactly the same thing. Now of course, you know, because that's a universal truth. Also, you know, written by Shankaracharya, Adi Guru Shankaracharya, Vivek Chudamani. So I want you to know that you, know, you are, we all are the infinitely blessed. There is no higher blessing that's possible. You know, just learn, once you learn that, you must learn to live without any worries and without any fear. Guruji said, ash ash karo. I Guruji said, ash karo. I much later I learned that what Guruji was implying was live without fear, live without worries, just enjoy. And why? Because he is there, he is our Guru, he is looking after us. Can there be anything better than that? So please, from now on, stop worrying, stop worrying. Because he is there, he is taking care of you, he is taking care of all of us. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. No, and he is always there for us. He is available to us. He is approachable. And I learned that through another experience that I will you know, share with you. Once Guruji asked me to do something. Just like I told you, he said in Punjabi, he said, I didn't understand anything in Punjabi. Actually, 90% of what he said, I could not understand. So, I didn't understand anything in that day. In the middle of the day, there was a few other records that were sitting there. So, I said, I was hesitated. I hesitated. I said, Guruji, what do you think? I didn't have the courage to ask Guruji. I said, what do you think? I said, Guruji, what do you think? He told me something. I think he may not have heard it correctly too, but he told me something. He told me something. But it was, a, correct, it was not what Guruji had asked me to do. I, you know, I made some mistakes in that. So one day Guruji called me, and, you know, it was, called me alone. And, uh, and he told me 
something that is very very important that i want you to listen very carefully he said apne mere apne aur apne guru ke beech mein kisi ko nahi rakhte and then he gave me two phone numbers one was for uh, his nephew gaurav and the other was for guru guru said the other one is for his driver and he gave me the name i can't remember the name i'm sorry about that and he said इन दोनों को मैंने बता दिया है कि तेरा फोन जब भी आए मुझे तुरंत बताए मैं तुझसे बात करूंगा अगर मैं पाठ कर रहा हूं तो भी मैं तुझसे बात करूंगा तो यू नो जस्ट थिंक अबाउट व्हाट ही सेड एंड इट रियली अप्लाइज टू ऑल ऑफ अस ही सेड डोंट पुट एनीबडी बिटवीन यू एंड हिम डोंट डिपेंड ऑन समबडी एल्स टू लर्न अबाउट गुरु और टू मेक कॉन्टैक्ट विद हिम or to be blessed by him have must have a direct contact there is no substitute second he is always available now he said tera jab bhi call aayega main lunga main part kar raha hu tab bhi he is available 24/7 for each one of his bhakts let there be no doubt about it the problem is always at our end his doors are open and he is going to respond but we have to reach out to him we have to be able to sincerely connect with him right so <laughs> that brings us to the next you know dilemma you know our next challenge how do we connect with our guru and then also he he told us how to do that guru ji would often say telepathy se baat kiya kar should say that to everybody to main samajh nahi pata tha ki guru ji pata nahi kya telepathy se baat kiya kar karte rehte hain matlab hame humne kabhi telepathy na hame maloom hai na you know what do i know about telepathy or what does anybody anybody in the sangat know about telepathy much later i realized guru ji keh rahe the dhyan karo meditate karo so if you want to connect with guru ji there is no other way there is no substitute for meditation please meditate meditate very regularly if you want to connect with guru ji if you meditate and you are able to connect what else can be you ask for what else can be there that is better in this universe so please meditate i cannot emphasize that enough meditate 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 you know there is no other way forget everything else forget whatever else you hear about you know about guru ji and how to approach him just meditate that's the only way to be with him to connect with him to learn from him to be his disciple to be his bhagat there's no other way but then there are few other things guru ji also told us i want to share with you and i think you all probably already know that probably you have heard it again and again if you didn't hear it directly but it's worth repeating guru ji ne kaha gupt ja pehle to sabse important lesson guru ji ka tha mango mat mano and i have already you know gave you an example surrender don't ever ask him for anything you know think about it it's it's just simple intelligence basic intelligence what what is there to tell someone who already knows everything he is antaryami and sarvagya he sarvagya means he knows everything and antaryami means what's in, inside our head also what's in our heart so he knows not only what we want he also knows what's best for us so why don't go for the best why father him with you know what we think we need instead of letting him give what is best for us so never ask him for anything if you do you are probably may may make make a mistake i did that once only once i believe you know i have asked guru ji for anything and i got a terrible terrible disaster i got exactly what i had asked for and then i wish i had never asked for it. because you know we are human beings we make mistakes we can't sometimes exactly you know see what's going to happen you know if if something that we are asking for does happen so just never ask him for anything leave it to him to give what is best for us 
the second important thing is you know which he said always told us was gupt jap gupt dan so please as much as you can gupt jap karte rahiye om namah shivaya shiv ji sada sahay om namah shivaya guru ji sada sahay or make it short because you know he, he gupt jap is only om namah shivaya shiv ji sada sahay the second line is added later on and gupt dan गुप्त दान के लिए गुरु जी कहते थे दाएं हाथ से दो तो बाएं हाथ को भी नहीं पता चलना चाहिए आपको एक एक्सपीरियंस में शेयर करना कर सकता हूं गुप्त जाप के बारे में जब मुझे यह समझ में आ गया कि गुरु जी को सब कुछ मालूम है ये अंतर्यामी है मैंने कहा यह तो कुछ समस्या हो गई क्योंकि अगर वो सब कुछ मालूम है तो ही ऑल्सो नो ऑल दबिश दट गोज थ्रू माई हेड दैट इज वेरी एम्बेरसिंग मैंने कहा देर आई कान कंट्रोल दैट यू नो ऑल द टाइम बट एटलीस्ट वेन आई एम इन संगत सिटिंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ हिम एटलीस्ट एट दैट टाइम द गार्बेज एंड रबिश शुड नॉट गो थ्रू माई हेड मैंने कहा ये देन आई फिगर आउट दैट इफ आई एम डूइंग जॉब गुप्त जॉब देन यू नो देन आई वॉन्ट हैव एनी अदर थॉट बिकॉज आर माई माइंड माई ब्रेन इज इंगेज इन गुप्त जॉब सो जब मैं संगत में जाता था बस बैठे बैठे ओम नम शिवाय शिव जी सदा साय गुप्त जॉब करता रहता एक दिन गुरुजी ने अपने कमरे में बुलाया जोगिंद संगत और बहुत खुश थे गुरुजी और हमसे कहते हैं ऐसे जैसे गुप्त जाप करता रहता ऐसे ही किया कर आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर दैट मीन यू नो ही गेव मी सच ए क्लियर डायरेक्ट यू नो कॉन्फर्मेशन ऑफ गुप्त जाप बींग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो प्लीज वेन एवर यू गेट टाइम डू दैट यू नो एंड वी हैव प्लेंटी ऑफ टाइम एंड यू नो वीन इफ यू आर ड्राइविंग यू आर सिटिंग इन अ कार यू आर सिटिंग इन अ ट्रेन You are waiting for something, you know. Just do good job. Use the time to your own advantage. And I don't know why it is important, but he said it's important, so just trust him. It is important. And same with the another another experience I want to share with you, which is kind of uh, interesting. Guru Ji ke sangat mein hamesa shabad chalta rehta tha, and shabads are very important because they help us meditate. If you want to meditate, you know, use shabads. Later on, of course, you can meditate in silence, but एक 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 दिन गुरुजी मुझे दिन में सुबह सुबह मॉर्निंग बोला इट वाज फेबर ऑफ 2006 तो नौ बजे का टाइम दिया था गुरुजी तो मैं नौ बजे पहुंच गया तो गुरुजी के साथ बैठा था उनके कमरे में काफी देर तक बैठा रहा फिर मैं जब जाता था गुरुजी बुलाते थे तो मैं गुरुजी से कुछ बात नहीं कर पाता था गुरु भी कुछ नहीं बात करते थे बस मैं चुपचाप बैठा रहता था बट इट यूज टू बी एब्सोल्यूटली सच ए ब्लिसफुल टाइम आई कान टेल यू इट वॉज एब्सोल्यूटली हैवन and i didn't want to break the spell by saying anything or asking anything so mai hamesha chup chap baitha rehta tha guruji bhi chup chap baithte the and you know it used to be for a long long time such a blissful heavenly experience all the time so anyway as now we have reached my i think around 9:30 or so seva dar comes and you know tells guruji guruji aapke nahane ka intezam ho gaya so guruji left he said baitha raha mai abhi aata hu and he he left but within 15 seconds 10 seconds he comes rushing back and it was like something terrible had just happened and he rushed back and then he calls a sevada like something really bad terrible you know has happened and he says ai shabad nahi chal raha uncle ke liye shabad chala and then he left now just imagine what had happened you know, guru ji ko of course malum tha ki shabad nahi chal raha wo chalwa sakte the pehle hi kya hum sab bata sakte the kabhi bhi शब्द सुनाकर बताई यू नो बट ही डेंट डू दैट यू नो वॉट ही डेड वॉज समथिंग दैट लेफ्ट एन इन दिलाईबल एक्स यू नो यू नो एक्स यू नो इम्पैक्ट ऑन माई यू नो इन माई ब्रेन आई विल नेवर फॉरगेट वॉट ही डेड बिकॉज इट क्रिएटेड सच अ ड्रामा सच अ सीन अबाउट शब्द बींग इम्पॉर्टेंट सो आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर दैट विद यू लिसन टू शब्द वेन एवर यू हैव टाइम वेन यू हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटी इट्स गुड फॉर अस No, again, it's good for us because it's good for meditation. It's good for our chit. So please listen to Shabad. Listen, you know, do good job as much as you can. Then uh, another thing, important thing he told us was uh, one time, you know, I and Usha were standing, you know, in front of him, and he looked at us and he said, uh, "Jo bhi kia kar, Guruji ko offer kia kar." What he was saying is, do everything as an offering to Guru. देन यू लुक डेट उषा एनी सर लिपस्टिक भी लगाया कर तो गुरु के लगा गुरु के लिए लगाया कर यू नो इवन ऑर्डिनरी थिंग्स ही सेड इन इफ यू डू दैट वेरी मंडेन थिंग्स डू इट फॉर गुरु सो प्लीज टेक दैट टू हार्ट इफ यू आर डूइंग एनी थिंग इफ यू आर इन्वॉल्व इन अ प्रोजेक्ट यू आर टेकिंग ऑन एनी न्यू एंड एवर वॉट एवर डू इट एज एन ऑफरिंग टू आवर गुरु 
to your guru and then you'll be assured of success because then when you if you offer something to guru if it's his you know how can you fail but then you have to treat it as it is his not yours so you have to be sincere about it don't do it just to deceive yourself that you know if you offer something to guru it will be will, will be successful and of course you know don't really feel that it's going to be his that will be yours do it with a sincere if you only if you are sincere about it. now i think you know i have shared with you enough lessons that i learned you know what i think i should also also mention you know some uh, so many benefits you know i've, I've had you know actually by i live my life because of guru ji you know somebody can say that they experience miracles once in a while i i tell i tell i tell myself that you know i live on miracles i can't live without miracles everything then my life is basically is is blessing is all is done by him you know i have had two lives you know two new lives because of him you know everything i've had in my life is because of him. when i look around and i see you know all the good things have happened it's all because of him and it's not i'm saying that you know he he made sure i understood that too you know I, i'll give you one simple example you know our older daughter you know she thought that she will go, like to become a doctor physician so but later on she changed her mind you know in the you know i think the last year of her college in university and she told me that she would rather become a dentist you know because it's better for her because you know as a as a woman as a housewife as a mother you know i think she'll you know i'll be better off you know if i'm a dentist so my son i i did not not know much you know i'm not i'm not trained as a doctor or a dentist so i didn't know much but okay but then next time when i went to in guruji sangat i just mentioned to him i said you know guruji woh badi badi keh rahi hai woh dentist banna chahti hai guru ji bade khush ho kehte ha kyon nahi kyon nahi you know then i'll tell you what happened my daughter applied to 10 dental schools for admission all 10 called her for an interview she went to four interviews and all of them admitted her into the dental school now for those who don't know if, if typically if a person applies to 10 dental or medical school they'll get maybe two interviews maybe three at the most and then if you go to those two or three interviews maybe they'll get two offers usually at the most so you know what had happened here was totally absolutely exceptional totally you know something that's totally unexpected somebody applying to four 10 schools getting interviews from all 10 schools goes to four interviews gets admitted and gets accepted at all the four uske baad mai After that, you know, next time I went to Sangat, I told Guruji, Guruji, what about you know? Then I described to him, you know, basically that ten, ten, ten jagah apply kiya Guruji, ten jagah, ten jagah, ten interview aaya, four jagah gayi, four jagah uska admission ho gaya. Now what Guruji said? Guruji said, Ah, blessing thi, ho nahi tha. You know, in a, in a typical, unassuming way, that's how he was. He never took credit for anything. you know it, it always made it like happen like yeah you know some blessing came from some place and it got done that's how our guru was you know totally unassuming actually he was so shy i thought you know because he'll be sitting in front of people and they'll be saying things he would, would not much sometimes even look at them you know you know you know in his birthday celebrations you know people will be dancing and this and that and he'll be looking somewhere you know playing with his hands and doing things like that is the master of the universe you know so unassuming and here who look look at ourselves you know we have some people amongst us you know i see them all the time you see them all the time people who have done very little in life but they are so they such huge ego you know such little people with big egos and here is the master of the universe with no ego and he didn't judge anybody blessed us all equally you know if we have a guru we should try to be like him no we should all be unassuming because we should realize that everything has come with his blessings right and we should be we should really withhold our judgment in most of the time you know hum log raat vesh se bhare rehte hain you know we, we are full of so you know attachments and aversions all the time get rid of it you know most of the time we should not have any judgment at all let things happen just like guru ji you know you he, he didn't judge anybody you know everybody was same to him we are all his children 
that's how we try to we should try to be you know with the in the world you know with the people around us so any anyway, I, I i wanted i think i've shared enough you know i think i can keep going forever you know i but uh, you know i i think i've given you enough of you know what i learned from him and some of the things that he told us but maybe i should finish by saying a, just a few things about what he didn't say but he what he meant and i'll just share three or four examples you know he made us made, made four people eat from the same thali and you know who we are we have four castes right unless we are six sikh of course don't have our caste because you know they, their gurus our sikh gurus told us not to have caste but somehow we even you know everybody has fallen prey to it so we have four castes and we stick to it don't just get rid of the caste and guru he told me clearly separately also char paanch se upar hote and he said that when i was looking for a, when we were looking for a groom for our first daughter you know he told me very clearly char paanch se upar hote he told actually my wife very clearly char paanch se upar hote another thing you know he set an example for us to follow guru ji was double ma very well educated of course who he was master of universe he could speak any language but he always spoke even without his with his education you know you know in this material world in dugri punjabi you know he did not even speak punjabi spoken in the cities why he did that he was teaching us to have self respect you know people foreigners came and he could speak english i know that because i overheard him talk you know talk in english once to mr prem singh you know was my friend high commissioner from singapore and he said from now on your problems are mine don't worry about it something like that you know so i saw i heard him speak in english he could speak english very clearly very fluently but even when those foreigners came he did not speak to them in english or any other language he spoke in his dogri punjabi a lesson in self respect for all of us especially in india you know hum log thoda sa education ho jati hai angrezi bolna shuru kar dete hain bhul jate hain kahan se aaye hain because we don't have any self respect you know for our ourselves this you know, then there's one last you know impression i want to share with you once guru ji was uh, i was along with guru ji mai sochta tha guru ji ko and my data with me some some log you know it's a so called gurus you know traveling over all over the world you know europe you know us canada etc mai din soch raha tha guru ji ke paas baitha ki pata nahi kya guru ji ka bhi man hota hoga aise jaane ke liye kabhi to maine aise hi pooch liya you know each child like you know without any other motive maine aise pucha ki guru ji guru ji aapko kabhi bahar jaane ka man hota hai to guru ji was silent which didn't used to happen very often you know before he answered and then he answered but in very pensively you know he, he didn't seem very happy unhone kaha mujhe bas keval india mein acha but he said that as if uh, you know he was not happy so i thought about it you know in guru ji uh, this is god god saying that india is the best but he's saying that with some sadness in his voice so i want to share with you look around yourself and see what's happening and this is what you want in the place which god likes the best you know are we following our own heritage our culture our language our traditions follow it you know do something to you know encourage others to follow do it yourself encourage others around him around you and if you can't encourage others you know at least support those who are doing that you know some way or other and you think about it more i don't want to belabor it more because then somebody would say it's a political statement i am making and i don't come down to make a political statement but make india the best our guru ji wants it like that so i have sh- i have shared enough i think i have consumed the time i was allotted thank you for giving me the opportunity it's wonderful wonderful to be on this uh, you know forum with you to be able to talk to you about our guru ji how much he loved us now how much we should actually reciprocate with our own love for him jai guru ji